My girlfriend forcing me into getting married and gave me an ultimatum. This is general advice that you should carry forwards into the future. If a person you are dating brings up marriage, even in a joking tone, they are not joking about it. They are asking your opinion on marriage. If a person you are dating says something specific like, you should propose to me in December, and you don't agree, do not make a sound of agreement like, MMHMM. Say, in words, that you do not want to propose to her. Say it the first time she brings it up. This seems like a communication issue her taking your agreement at face value without further discussion, and you completely ignoring everything she said as joking. Culture gap. I think the significance of this meeting with mother, brother, and any other family members was her idea of a serious relationship milestone evidently one that gave a green light to engagement to you. This was merely an introduction. And now that this family is given this green light, only to find you unprepared to hit the gas, your GF feels somewhere between embarrassed and humiliated. I lived and worked in an Arab country for two years and I still can't assess this as well as I'd like. But what I observed was that what we in the West consider dating didn't get serious enough to involve family until engagement had already occurred. And this green light to serious dating is roughly equivalent to being pre-engaged. That might be the longest sentence I've ever read. Also, to do any of this without even talking to you is totally whack. LOL was this whole post just one sentence or am I looking at this wrong? You dodged a whole cartridge of bunny boiling bullets there. Sit back. Relax and count your lucky stars. Step 1. Throw away all your condoms. The most surprising thing about this is she's a woman in her 30s. I thought this would have been late teens, early 20s. Guess she feels maybe she's running out of time. Either way, seems like you've dodged a bullet. But in the future, don't agree to everything tears of joy. Thank God I read the whole entire thing. After getting run through for the past 10 or 15 years, your ex-girlfriend tried to force you into marriage and baby trap you. Fortunately she broke the relationship off when you refused to give in to her insane demands. Literally helping you to dodge the bullet she was firing at you. Dude, you're golden. Why did you even feel the need to make this post? Block on her on social media. Block her number. And remove all traces of her from your life please. Block her. By the way, do you know why it was so easy for her to walk away from you? It's because she doesn't care anything about you. She wants the marriage, the baby, and her family's approval. And if you don't give it to her, she's going to spread her legs and find someone else who will. You're welcome. Grin. Well, if you stay out of it, you will have dodged a bullet. If you get back in and have a miserable life, it's on you. You made a good choice, one year is crazy and being forced into it, kids next. Damn, she was steps away from planning your wedding before you even talked about getting married. Let alone getting engaged. Block her and don't answer the door if she shows up begging to take her back. She'll just resume forcing you to get married. Stay broke up, she's nuts. Just want to add, that I don't believe she really, in her mind, broke up with you. I fear that this was just another tactic to manipulate you into agreeing to her demands. I feel she will be back. Do not cave. Being married to a highly manipulative person, as she has shown herself to be, won't go well. I hope I am wrong. But be strong. I thought this was written by someone in their early 20s. You are almost 30 and she is already ready to settle down. 
A year is not an abnormal time frame to consider an engagement at that stage in life. Let her go if you aren't ready. Don't waste her time. And like other commenters have mentioned she is not joking about those serious things. She is casually gauging your interest in the future and when you respond positively you are telling her that is a real possibility. Never get married you dodged a bullet and get snipped. Sounds like you're bad at communicating and she's very invested in her culture's customs. If you have no interest in getting married right now stay broken up. But I highly recommend you learn to communicate more clearly. You said she's Arab. Many cultures from that area of the world consider meeting the family the engagement planning. Meeting. So maybe the cultural competency between the two of you wasn't the best either. She assumed you understood that. You assumed it meant nothing. Move on and learn from this experience. You don't need advice, you did the right thing. Unless someone has a gun to your head, you're not being forced to get married. She's allowed to want to be married, and you don't get to force her to stay single. If you don't want the same things, the best thing to do is go your separate ways. And this is just free advice. You're not going to learn anything new after one year that sways your opinion either way. Using the only one year, Mark is an excuse. If you don't know that you want to spend your life with her, then that means you don't. Well she is counting down time being close to 30 she wants kids and doesn't want to waste her time with someone who won't commit. If you don't want to marry her do her a favor and dump her. Be glad she broke up with you, now make sure it stays permanent cuz that girl is psycho. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.